What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create custom checkout fields and we're going to be creating something just like this. Uh, basically you're going to be able to just have your first name, last name, email and a custom field and then you're also able to remove any fields that you don't want on your checkout. And then if you are curious on how I created this um, nice looking checkout I do have a video on this on my channel, so you guys can go ahead and check that out as well. Go ahead and stick around. Okay, so if you're wondering what theme this is, it's called the Caden theme. I did a video on this a while ago. It's a really good theme for e-commerce, so it's definitely a theme that I recommend. Now, if you guys wanna learn how to create a website just like this on the Caden theme, I do have a video on this on my channel, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. I might leave a link to that in the description, but if I don't, just feel free to remind me. So. Let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard and then go to plugins and then go ahead and click on add new and then just type in checkout fields. And then go ahead and install this plugin here. It's the first one, it's called checkout field editor and it has the most download and it's actually always recently updated. And then go ahead and click on activate. And then I want to go ahead and show you guys my checkout before I even start editing um, my fields here. So I'm going to go ahead and just go to my checkout page so you guys can view that. So this is how currently my checkout page looks. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove some fields on here. So head over to WooCommerce and then go to checkout form. And then from here, we're going to see our billing fields and our shipping fields are over here and our additional fields. Now, this just depends whether you are selling a virtual product or a uh, physical product. If you're selling a physical product, then you're gonna want a lot of the billing information and the shipping information. Um, but if you're selling a virtual product, you might still need the billing information because you need that so then the payment can be processed. Um, but might be different if you're using PayPal. Maybe uh, you, they don't have to put in their um, their billing information. All they have to put in is their, probably their first name, their last name, and their email. And then you guys can probably work with that. But if you're using Stripe, you might have to use um, your billing address, uh, country, city, and state, and postal code. So that just depends. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start to remove some, some fields here. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm just doing a virtual product and I'm using PayPal, right? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove a lot of the billing information and the company name and the additional information here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and check each field that I want to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove billing company, billing country, billing address two, billing address one, billing city, billing state, billing postcode, um billing phone number as well we don't really need it and then i'm going to go ahead and just disable it i'm not going to remove it because i might add it later on so i'm just going to disable it and i'm going to go ahead and click on save changes and then i'm going to go into my checkout page and i'm going to just refresh this now as you can tell now i only have my first name last name email and additional information for order notes but i'm going to go ahead and remove this so in order to remove that, go to your additional fields and then you're gonna see order comments. Go ahead and check this and then click disable and then go ahead and click on save changes. And then go ahead and refresh and there you have it. Now, if you wanna add any new fields, go you can go into additional fields and then go ahead and click on add field now you can you can have this a text, a password, an email. So depending, maybe you're selling a course, you can have them add a password. Um, that just depends. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use text and my name. I'm gonna go ahead and add a name and then, a, and then I mean, we can just leave it to additional, that's fine. And then just add a label and a placeholder. Um, so uh, this can be just a, just a random, question here. Um, I honestly do not know what to add. So I'm just going to do a test field. 
and I'm gonna leave that as a default value. And I'm gonna leave this to required, enabled, display in emails. Yep. And I'm gonna click save. And I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. And as you can tell, it's gonna add it right over here, additional information. Um, now, if you didn't want to add it in, now if you didn't want to have this title here, what you can do is just go ahead and remove this, and you can add it to the billing. We can go ahead and disable this, and then if you want, you can just add it to the billing. Um, this can be under billing. So, and then we're just gonna name this test field. and call this test field as well, and then click save. And there you have it. You can also add it right under there and it's required. And if you're wondering how I created this really nice checkout page, um, it, I'm actually using cart flows and I ended up doing some CSS to be able to have the, this gray bar here at the right. So if you guys want to get some of the CSS, so then you can have um, this nice looking checkout. Now you do have to use um, cart flows. I actually might make a video on this because you probably aren't, you're probably going to be a little bit confused on how to use the CSS to this. Um, but if you guys do want to see a video on how I created this uh, clean looking checkout, um, just go ahead and comment down below. I do have a video already where I go over cart flows and I show you guys how to create a similar checkout but I don't go over how to add this gray bar here on the right. Um, that looks really nice and it kind of looks like Shopify. So that's why I kind of added this, this gray box here. And instead of just having this information, I added a background to it. So, um, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it looks pretty clean. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I think I covered about everything here. If you guys do have any questions on this at all, just feel free to comment down below. And if this video did help you guys out, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. It'll definitely help out the channel out a lot. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.